Good morning, Junior Two. How are you? Fine. Great. Let's start our lesson for today. You know, we started the present simple tense. We finished the affirmative form and the negative form. Can you remember the strong group? Yes. Tell me the strong group. I, we, you, they, plus plural noun. What about the we group? He, she, it, plus singular noun. So today we are going to talk about the question and the short answer. So let's start. Okay, Junior Team, I have a question for you. Do you want to be a pilot one day? Mm, yes or no? Let's see how can we answer this question together. All right, Junior Two, what can you see here? You. Can you tell me you from which group? Yes, from the strong group. Okay. So, do you know that the strong group and the weak group, they are from the same family? Yes, they are subject pronouns. Okay, but some of them are strong and some of them are weak. All right, so let's see our question for today. Do you want to be a pilot? Mm, yes or no? Okay, we have the same picture. So, our answer is yes. Do you know yes what? Yes, I do. Why I write yes, I do here? Remember, my answer is yes. And after yes or no, I have to put what? Comma. And then I will draw a cross here between do and you. So tell me, who runs fast, do or you? Remember, the subject pronouns always run fast. So you will run fast and it will be I. Do you know why I? Because I have only one person here. So yes, I. Yes, I what? Yes, I do. Okay, Junior Two. Our subject pronoun here, let's and them. So let's see the question. Do let's and them want to be firefighters? Okay. Can you tell me Les and Tem from the strong group or weak group? Yes, they are two. They are plural noun, so they are from the strong group. Okay, so let's see the picture here. Do Les and Tem want to be firefighters here? Mm -mm. No, I can see here another job here. They are artists here. So, I will not say yes here. I will use no. Do you know I will use no what? No, they don't. Why are you they here? In your answer, John, you do don't write names or nouns. Change them to be a subject pronoun, a suitable subject pronoun. So less and them, they will be they. Okay? So do Les and them want to be firefighters? No. After yes or no, I have to put comma. And then I will draw a cross between do and les and them. Okay? For sure, the subject pronoun runs fast. I will not write les and them. I will write they. They what they do? When I see no, I have to put not. No, they don't. Alright? Remember. No, they don't. Excellent. Let's revise Junior 2. Question and short answer in the strong group. So, in the strong group, how can I make the question? Okay, number one. Number one start with do. 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 Number two. You have to choose one from the subject pronouns from the strong group, from the strong group, like what? Like I, we, you, they, or plural noun, or plural noun. So number one, start with do. Number two, choose one from the subject pronoun from the strong group, I, we, you, and they, plus plural noun. Number three, you have to write the verb infinitive. And you know the verb infinitive, it's mean the basic form of the verb. 
don't forget the question mark don't forget the question mark again how can I make the question number one start with do number one start with do plus number two the strong group one from the strong group one from the strong group number three you will choose what the verb infinitive the verb in infinitive and at the end you have to put the question mark the question mark so next how can I answer the question number one you have to start your answer with yes or no with yes or no after yes or no put comma after yes or no put comma number two you have to choose one from the strong group one from the subject pronouns from the strong group like I we you and they and then number three when your answer is yes use do but if you choose no use don't if your answer is yes write me number three do if your answer is no write don't because when I see no I have to put not when I see no I have to put not remember turn here too when you see you in the question you will change you to be I or we I when you see one person and we when you see many people when you see many people okay what can you see here he he is a subject pronoun and from which group he very good from the weak group okay let's see the next question does he want to be a vet look at the next picture here yes they are the same so we our answer is yes or no yes yes what yes he does how can I write this yes he does I will draw a cross between does and he and then I will see who runs fast and as I said all with the subject pronouns run fast so yes he does yes he does and and here junior two from which a group the strong group or the weak group and one person very good the weak group so let's see the question does Anne want to be a doctor
yes or no, I have to put comma. I have to put comma. Number two, you will choose one from the subject pronouns from the weak group, like he, she, or it. Number three, when your answer is yes, use does. When your answer is no, use doesn't. When your answer is yes, use does. But no, doesn't. Because when I see no, I have to put not. I have to put not. Now, Junior 2, let's uh, practice. Open your grammar book, pages 65 and 66. Okay, the first picture here, you can see the vet here and the boy. The boy says, Do you like my dog? The doctor said, No, I don't. No, I don't. Remember, Junior 2, to form a question with the present sample, we put do or does at the beginning of the question. When we use does, we don't put s, es, or i, es at the end of the verb. We give short answers with yes or no, the correct person, and do, does, or don't, doesn't, as we said before. Okay? Junior 2, let's practice exercise H. Answer about you. So, all these questions, you will answer these questions by yourself and about yourself. Okay, like number one, do you watch TV in the evening? If it's yes, you will say, yes, I do. If it's no, no, I don't. So please try to answer these questions by yourself and then we will see the answers next. Okay, what did you do? Let's correct your answers. We finished number one. Number two, does your mom work on some days? If your answer is yes, we'll say yes, she does. Yes, she does. Remember the cross. And remember, we will not write my mom. I'll say she. If it's no, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. What about number three? Does your teacher play games? Yes, I play games. Okay, so your, uh, your answer is yes, she does. If you have another teacher, you can say no, she doesn't. If your teacher is a male, you can say yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Okay? Number four. Does your dad have a pole and arrow? Okay. My dad. I will write my dad or he. It's very good, he. So I'll say yes, he does. Yes, he does. If no, if it's no, no, he doesn't. What about number five? Do you want to be an astronaut? Mm, if it's yes, yes I do. What about if it's no? No, I don't. Number six, do you and your friend, you and your friend, I will change you and your friend and it will be we. It will be we. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Or only one answer in every question. One answer, okay? Turn the page to page 66 in number one. Okay, let's see. Number one, you will make the question and then you will look at the picture and answer this question. Like number one here. You have here Mia and the verb where. So, Mia from the weak group or the strong group weak group because she is only one okay so I will start with do or does does so number one does number two Mia or one from the weak group does Mia where is the verb where does Mia wear hats then I will look at the picture can you see any hats here yes so my answer is yes after yes or no I put comma and then cross this cross between does and Mia. I will write Mia or she, she. Yes, she, yes, she what? Yes, she does. Next, I want you to finish these questions by yourself and then we will check your answer later. Okay, let's see your answers here. Number two. Number two, you have toy and eat. It's 
speak the question time from the weak group. So I will use does. I will use does. Remember does for, with the weak group and the do with the strong group. Does tie. Does tie what? Where is the verb? Eat. Does tie eat ice cream? Look at the picture. Does I eat ice cream here? Yes. So I my answer start with yes. After yes or no I put comma and then cross between does and tie. I will write tie? No. I will write he. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Number three. You can see here Liu and like. Liu here from the strong or weak? Strong. Do or does? Does. Does Liu like flies? Look at the picture. Does Liu like flies? Mm -mm. No. So no. After no and yes, I will put comma. Cross between does and Liu. I will write Liu. No. I will write he. No. He doesn't. No. He doesn't. Remember, when I see no, I have to put not. Number four. You can see they and write. They and write. They from the strong group or weak? Strong. Do or does? Do. Start with do. Do they write in their diaries? Look at the picture. Mm, yes. After yes or no, I put comma. Cross between do and they? Yes, they do. Five. You can see Tessie and like. Tessie from the strong or weak? Weak. Do or does? Does. Does Tessie like oranges? Mm -mm. No. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. When I see no, I have to put not. Very good. Practice Junior 2. Open your booklet, pages 79 and 80. Okay, before we start, revise to form a question with present sample, we put do or does. Do with the stronger group and the does with the weak group. Again, do with the stronger group, does with the weak group at the beginning of the question. Okay? So remember that. It's very important. Now, you have here exercise number one. It's too easy. Choose the correct answer. Okay? You will finish this exercise by yourself and then we will check exercise later. Let's see Junior 2, your answers. Number 1. Your brother like pasta. I have do, I have does, and I have are. Let's see your brother here. Your brother from which group? From the strong or the weak? Your brother here only one, it's been singular noun, so weak. Can I choose here are or do? No, I will choose does. Number two. She drink orange juice. She from strong or weak? Weak. Can I write do? Can I choose do? No. Can I choose is? No. Why? If I choose is, it means I have drinking with ing. I have drink here with ing or infinitive drink only. Yes, drink only. So who takes infinitive with him? Does. Does she drink orange juice? Three. You play football. You from the strong group or weak group? Yes, you from the strong group. So I will choose R or do. Do. Because I have here play infinitive. It means do you play football? Remember verb to be with verb plus ing. Alright, four. Ali have a pen. Ali from the strong or weak? Weak. Do or does? Does. I can't choose is because I have here have infinitive, not having. Five. Your sisters. Plural noun. Strong or weak? Strong. Do or does? Do. That's it. If you find these questions correct, draw a star for yourself. Junior 2, exercise number 2. Make a question. Like number 1 here. Start with do or does. And then choose one from the strong group with do and one from the weak group with does. And then the verb infinitive and continue the question. Again, start with do or does. 
was the subject pronouns we group or strong group weak with does strong with do and then the verb infinitive and then we finish the question okay so finish this exercise by yourself and next we will see the answers all right let's see number one he right here use a subject pronoun from the strong group and walk the verb he write do do what do you do you walk to school that's it it's too easy number two you have your sally and a drink sally the subject pronouns and the drink the verb infinitive i start with does because sally from the we group does sally drink milk in the morning that's it it's too easy three oh he didn't write for me do or does i will think and i will write by myself i have eat so eat from the strong or weak weak i will choose do or does does so does it rain a lot in egypt i start with does and then the subject pronoun and then the verb four my friends my friends plural so do or does do because they are strong do my friends do sport after school Remember, start with do or does, the subject pronoun, and then the verb. Do a star for yourself. In Junior 2, we have exercise number 3, fill in the gaps. This exercise is a revision about the affirmative form, about the negative form, and the question form too. So please, try to finish this exercise by yourself, and then we will see how did you do. Alright, in number 1. Number one says, you start school at 8 o'clock. You hear from the strong group or weak group strong. I will write the verb infinitive or I will put the verb with S, E, S or I, E, S strong. It's mean they don't need help. So infinitive without S, E, S or I, E, S. So I will write you start school at 8 o'clock. Number two. I not play football after school. I from strong or weak? I from strong. I want to put not here. I will say don't or doesn't. Don't. With the strong group, I use don't. I don't play. I don't play after don't and doesn't. I will put verb infinitive. I will put verb infinitive. I don't play football after school. 3. Malik have lunch at home. Malik here, strong or weak? Weak. Remember verb to have? I have two sisters, have and has. Have with a strong group and has with a weak group. So Malik here, weak group, so I will write has. Number 4. They. They watch TV after dinner. They, strong or weak? Strong. Watch or watches? Watch without Yes. Mariam, not get up at 7 o'clock. So Mariam here, strong or weak? Weak. Don't or doesn't? Doesn't. So Mariam doesn't get up at 7 o'clock. 6. He study English. He from strong or weak? Weak. So study here. I will drop Y and put I E S. So I will write he studies English. English. He studies English. Seven, you can find seven is a question. So I will start here with do or does. I will say she. So she what? Do or does? I start with does. Does she? She from the we group. Does she? Where is the verb do? Does she do sport after school? Number eight. Another question. You can find you from the strong group. I will start with do or does do. Do you get up at 7 o'clock? In the question, I write the verb infinitive. After don't or doesn't, I write the verb infinitive. In the weak group, I put S, E, S or I, E, S. In the strong group, I put the verb infinitive too. Okay? Number 9. Item, not play tennis. Item, strong or weak? Weak. So, don't or doesn't? Doesn't. Item doesn't play tennis. 10. Samia here. Strong or weak? We Can I write Samia go? No. She needs some help. So 
Samia goes. I will put ES because I see O at the end of the verb. Samia goes to the cinema. Very good. Excellent. Do one star for yourself. Now, Junior 2, in this exercise, exercise 4, replace the underlined words and rewrite. What that mean? You can find here in number 1, Abdullah. Okay, Abdullah doesn't like football. He says, replace the underline. It's mean, cross Abdullah and start with they. Remember, Abdullah is from the weak group and they from the strong group. So, I will make some changes, okay? So, I'll start with they. Can I write they doesn't? Absolutely not. They don't. They don't what? They don't like football. Alright? So you will uh, replace the underlined word like Abdullah and they. And then you will fix what you have here. Okay? If you have any mistakes, you can fix them. Alright? Change the sentence if you can. Alright? So please answer number 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then let's see what did you do. Okay, we finished number one. Number two, my grandma wears glasses. Okay, he asked me to put not. So, I will start with my grandma. But if I put not, it will be don't or doesn't. I, I, don't, I don't put not like this, not, no. It will be don't or doesn't. So, my grandma takes don't or doesn't, doesn't, because my grandma is from the weak group. My grandma doesn't, doesn't. After don't and doesn't, I write the verb infinitive. I can't write wears. I have to write wear without s. My grandma doesn't wear glasses. Okay? I put not in does. It will be doesn't. Three. Our teacher gives us lots of homework. Our teacher here, singular noun, it's mean from the weak Alright, but he asked me to replace teacher with teachers plural. So I would say our teachers. Strong. Can I write our teachers gave? Verb plus S? No. Teachers plural means strong. They don't need any help. So our teachers gave us a, a lots of homework. Number four. Yes, I go to school. We have some mistakes here. Please write yes before I go to school because you will make a question here. How can I make a question? You can find I. I from the strong group. So I'll start with do. And then where is the subject pronouns? Change I and it will be you. So do you. Do you what? Do you go to school? And at the end, put the question mark. Number five. We don't drink orange juice. Replace we with she. I start with she. She from the weak. I can say she don't. No, she doesn't. She doesn't drink orange juice. That's it. If you finish it correct, draw a star for yourself. At the end of the lesson, I have to thank you because you are a good listener. And your homework is in your booklet, page 81. Please finish your homework and I will send you the model answer on this system. Careful and stay safe. Bye.